Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over engine management for the MiG-15. So the MiG-15 has uh, one main engine control, which is the throttle. So when you push it forward, it puts more air and gas in the engine, and it makes you fly faster. And then when you pull it backwards, obviously you fly slower. So the engine has two main gauges you need to look at. It's these two here. This one that says RPM is how fast the engine is spinning. So if you push the throttle forward, obviously the RPM is going to go up. The other one is the engine temperature here. The manual says anything within blue is good. If your temperature ever gets up into the red, you've got to pull the throttle back to decrease the temperature. So since the MiG-15 has a really old jet engine, um, it is prone to something called stalling. So basically, if there are disruptions in the airflow, the engine will do something called stalling, where it will kind of be very unresponsive, the throttle won't do anything, and you'll also hear really loud banging noises in the engine. So I've never had a stall in this plane before in DCS, but if you have one, the manual says to deal with the stall, you just bring your throttle all the way back, and then you slowly move it forward, and you should be good. So now we're going to go over air restarts. So if your engine cuts out in the air, uh, you need to restart it. So to restart it, you bring your throttle all the way back. And then this black lever here, you pull it all the way up to shut the fuel off. So then what you do is you get your plane pointed down so you can gain some speed. Once you're going pretty fast, what you do is you come here and there's this switch in the back and you turn it on. That is the air restart switch. When you turn on the air restart switch, there should be this red light that turns on. So you're going to turn the air restart switch on, and you're going to wait a couple seconds, and then you're going to bring the fuel lever down to open the fuel up. And when you open the fuel up, the RPM should start going up. Once the RPM goes up, you can, use your, you can move your throttle forward, and you can see it's working. So I'm going to turn the air start off. And that is how you do an air restart. All right, the last thing to talk about is the fire extinguisher. So the fire extinguisher is this thing up here. There's a little alarm. If the plane detects there's an engine, there's a fire in the engine, the alarm, the uh, red light will go off. And you can test it right here by clicking this button. So if there's a fire in the plane, what you got to do is bring your throttle back and you pull up this black lever to shut the fuel off. And then you open this cover and you click this button and I don't know if you could hear that or not but it just dispensed a fire extinguisher into the engine and that extinguisher should cut the fire out now once you cut the fire out you can't restart the engine so you gotta either make an emergency landing or you just gotta bail out one last thing I forgot to mention so there's a switch right here that says isolating valve and when you turn it on this green light comes on now the manual doesn't really explain exactly what this does or what the purpose is, but um, based on what I've seen from people saying online, it seems like with the isolating valve on, the throttle will be more re responsive, so or the engine will be more responsive. So when you move your throttle, the engine will be faster to change the RPM. It won't be very slow like it is normally. But they said the problem is that with isolating valve on, it seems like the engine is a lot more likely to compress or stall. I would just leave it off because that's how it always is by default, but if you want, you can turn it on and experiment. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you later.